Hi everybody, welcome to Informatica videos. My name is Caroline Siqueira and I'm going to show you how to create an active lookup transformation. At the end of the day, we're going to have an overview of an active lookup and an example of an active lookup transformation and a demonstration. Overview. When you configure the lookup transformation to return all matching rows, the lookup transformation returns all rows that match the lookup condition. And then this lookup transformation will become an active transformation. Example, you may have a scenario where a customer has multiple orders in a table and you can configure the lookup transformation to return all the purchased orders for a customer from a lookup. Inside the lookup, it would be necessary to have a condition to compare the related tables. And so using the active lookup on table two to, to get all matching records for each column two. Um, an active lookup transformation example is presented by that flag. This flag says if a lookup is active or not. Uh, during the demonstration, we are going to see a mapping example like that that was created using uh, an active lookup transformation. So, to create a lookup transformation, uh, an active lookup transformation, go to transformation, create, select the type of transformation, which is going to be lookup. And right here, it's time to choose if this lookup is going to be active or not by flagging that option here. Return all values from multiple match. And after that, you can choose from where this lookup is going to get the values from source, target, or source qualifier, or even by importing from a flat file or relational table. During this example that is shown here, uh, I've used the tables customers and purchased orders. So this lookup was created based on purchased orders and the condition is to compare the customer number from the purchased order with customer number from customers table. And this is going to generate a flat file as a target containing the records that will be retrieved by that transformation. In that example, I've retrieved, I'm going to retrieve just two columns, two ports, purchased order and customer name. So by running this, by generating a workflow, I've generated a target file as this one, which has retrieved 14 lines having all the customers and each related purchased order by each one. This is a very simple example, but it's just to show how an active lookup transformation can be created. More details about lookup transformation and active ones can be accessed by Informatica Power Center Transformation Guide. If you would like to give us any feedback, please access our Twitter or send us an email to supportvideos at informatica.com. Thank you.